Iron Talk is brought to you by Case IH. For more information about the full line of Case IH equipment and how you can boost your productivity, visit CaseIH.com. Case IH, for those who demand more. Thank goodness we're done combining, but now comes the really hard part. We've got to take all the data we've generated with our yield maps and start making use of it. In today's Iron Talk, we'll discuss yield maps. Well, if you're like our farm, you've got all these nice, pretty, colorful maps about how things turned out in the field, and it's kind of fun to see, oh man, look at this color, and if we did great, this is our top yielding bracket, and you know, that stuff's nice. But more importantly, let's look at where we had some challenges out there. Rather than applauding the spots where we had 300 bushel corn, let's take a look at the spots where we had 100 bushel corn or less, and start figuring out what we can do. And I would encourage you, if you do have a yield monitor on your combine, make some yield maps this year and take a look at what's going on out in those fields and actually go after those spots. Because you think, okay, 2009, it may be a tougher year to try and make some money than 2008 was. Input prices are up, commodity prices are down, all these things, the tough economy, everything, ah, blah, blah, blah. You know what, we've got a great chance on the farm to really make some changes and make cost-effective changes too. On our farm, I know we've been talking a lot about the drainage tile that we're doing, but there's other things as well. We're also looking at putting on some lime in spots where the pH is really low, dealing with some salt issues in certain spots of fields. I don't know what problems you've got. Maybe it's a nutrient issue or something else. There are so many different things that could be happening in your field. Just make the maps and actually take some time this winter to identify those spots. You know your fields. Just take a look at the maps and say, you know what, what's going on there? Oh yeah. That's where you know, this situation is going on and really make the move to deal with that this spring. It's a job that's gonna pay you well over $100 an hour to address a field problem because it's something that's not only gonna impact this year's crop, but years to come. So take some time this winter, look at those yield maps, and also keep watching Ag PhD because we'll be right back with our show after this. <music> 